When a local transgender teen committed suicide in December, she was trying to spark change and send a message. One man who listened was her family's pastor. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us now with what he has learned from Leela Alcorn's death. Anjanette. Well, Cammie, Pastor Tim Tripp works at the Northeast Church of Christ. He had the blessing of Leela Alcorn's family when he posted a blog message. In her suicide note, Leela Alcorn wrote that she wanted her death to mean something. We can only imagine what she would think of the blog post written by a pastor at her parents' church entitled, Can Tragedy Bring Us Together? Pastor Tim Tripp wrote of the need to tear down the walls that divide people. I can't help but wonder what would happen if people on both sides of the wall would stop thinking up ways to vent their anger toward the other side but instead just reach over the wall and grab a hand on the other side. Leela Alcorn's suicide sparked sadness and anger around the world. She was assigned as male at birth and named Josh, but as she developed, identified as a female. Lindsay Deaton organized vigils for Leela. She identifies as a transgender female and was overjoyed by Pastor Tripp's blog. You know, Leela called out to fix society, and this is a wonderful opportunity to do just that. It was this society that she was crying in, and here's a wonderful opportunity to do something to fix it. Deaton sees the blog post as an olive branch, one that she gladly accepts. I would love to gather with him and, and number one, meet him in Christ and pray, you know, as, as Christians together. Pastor Tripp and Cincinnati City Council member Chris Seelbach plan to meet next month to discuss these issues. And on Local 12 News Live at 11 on Monday night, we'll have more on Lindsay Deaton and her transition. We'll also talk to her wife, who has been with her for nearly 40 years. Cammie? And Jeanette, thank you. If you want to read the pastor's entire post, we have a link to his blog at local12.com. Just click on the red Get It button.